All right, so, I mean, this is a little synopsis here. We arrived in the final room of the ruins, in which we found a most peculiar pedestal. We discovered the pedestal. Oh, I forgot to go on to the whatever. It's <clears throat> now you guys can see what I'm talking about. We discovered that the pedestal was used to house the Bell of Ruin. As we discussed our findings and attempted to make sense of the inscription on the pedestal, Miss Cantabella ran away from us. I cannot be sure, but I believe her eyes briefly shone a faintly red color. <laughs> Regardless, we must find her immediately. Dun, 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 dun. We gotta go find her because she just said that she's the Great Witch and we're like, but we... We've spent like 20 hours saying you're not. <sighs> Chapter 7. The story's end. Wait. I know there's more than. Oh. Where's Isabella? Where could she be? Got her. No sign of her at all. This is very strange. This animation is so good! I have a feeling we're the only ones around. Huh? Hmm? Professor, look at this! Wait, did they already have the the parade? Look, it's a new story. Hmm. Yeah, how are you doing, Otter? Welcome on in. That means that the parade has already taken place. Dang, we were down. I didn't think we were down there that long. Anyway. The final story. That doesn't sound bad at all. At the appointed place of ending as twilight fades to darkness, the weaver of the story will meet the great witch for the first and final time. The concluding scene will glow in the flames of great magic as the teller of the story is silenced forever. Did you just write your own death, sir? This evening, at the final witch trial, the legendary great witch will be consumed by her own flames. Oh, are, is everyone dying? Are, are we already dead? The town, finally freed from the shackles of the story and witchcraft, will bathe in the morning light of the new dawning day. The new town will be aglow with freedom from the past and fresh hope for the future. They keep saying a lot of words that make me think that everything's just going to burn. Cleansing fires, eh? Does this mean what I think it means? N no way! That can't be! Is this what the Great Witch meant? Whatever the case, let's find a Spella before panic spreads throughout the town. We should probably split up. If only we had some leads. This is our anime parody called Sailor Moon the Seven Balls. Oh, that's hor- that sounds like- like one of those weird, like, um like hentai uh crossover things you'd see like on very low budget sites <laughs> I, I don't like that at all also hi ellie yes your noise is there now apparently george lucas even wait george lucas wait why would george lucas do that did they have star wars stuff in it <laughs> but The appointed place of ending. Perhaps this is referring to the town square at which the parade always ends. While the teller of the story can mean none other than a spell as father. As for being silenced forever, this is almost certainly an indication that he will lose his life. <laughs> We've already solved this puzzle. He's gonna die. I guess the company that did the anime parody thing? Huh. 
Actually, I also have to say, does George Lucas even own, he doesn't own the rights to Star Wars anymore, right? Like he sold it to Disney. He just kind of, just, can he even give any direction? I mean, I guess not. I, I seem to, I, I feel like, I feel like I've heard that, but they did a Star Wars parody and even predicted Disney buying, Le oh, really? Wow, interesting. In, in that case, Professor, Silence Forever could also be cutting out the time. I mean, this is true. Or oh, cutting off his hands because he writes the story. If he doesn't have hands, how is he going to write a story? With his feet? I guess we'll have to cut his feet off, too. I don't know. The chances of Espella being at the town square are pretty high, right? Indeed, Mr. Wright. Let's head to the square and find her. Yes. In one stroke, how many limbs can you cut off the storyteller? Show your work. The last story fragment added to items. Okay. Oh, whoa, hello. This looks grim. Everybody's here. Hmm. It looks like everyone in the town is here. Could use this. Well, he's like, maybe, maybe he'd be better off dead then. It would appear that they all wish to see the final story with their own eyes. Uh, Professor, about this final story. You had to cut the, yeah, pretty much. And spread his pieces through the world. Seal him away forever. Why would the great witch Bazella show up tonight of all nights? I have been wondering the same thing. She has never once shown herself before now. Perhaps the power of the story is such that even the actions of the Great Witch are subject to its control. Rule nine, always and carry one knife. more thing. Why in the world would the storyteller write his own death into the story? I don't know. He looks pretty old. Maybe he's done with it all. Also, hi, RC. If he has a prehensile tongue, then you'll definitely have to chop that out. Yeah. Oh, man. Maybe he has, like, the xenomorph tongue with the little tongue with, like, the mouth. He's got two mouths. You did it. Enjoy your Chinese food. Or, well, I guess you already enjoyed it, but, you know. Indeed, there appear to be quite a few mysteries contained within this final story. Although I suggest we don't dwell on them for the time being. I agree. First things first, let's find a Spella. Uh, well, there's the children and this guy. Tug it. Hello, children. You better hide now, cause I know you can't. You know you can't win. Can't too. A a and I won't hide. You'll be crispy bacon in no time. Just accept it. Why are we the children? Will not. You'll see. I will become a knight. And if I say I'll protect you, I'll protect you. Come on. How's a little chicken like you supposed to protect me from Bazella? Just watch me. Wow. Okay. Well. Your sacrifice won't be in vain, Diesel. Watch TV stand. Oh, waiting for the kitchen floor to dry? That makes sense. The parade was totally different this time. Inquisitor Darklaw was nowhere to be seen, and Inquisitor Barnum looked so agitated. And not only that, but they said this is going to be the last story. What's to become of us all from here on? I don't know. Just die, I guess. How are we going to find a spell with all these people about? Ah, look over there. It's the storyteller. Um, oh, yeah. Isn't he in his fancy storyteller place? Hello. Are you going to talk? And now... The time is upon us. The time of release from the curses of witchcraft and the story. The legendary Bezella will appear before us, and the story of the longest night will begin. Prepare yourselves for the dramatic climax. Okay. But that means we'll lose our storyteller. There is no reason for sorrow. My stories are no more than a peek at the caprice and irony of unfolding fate. 
Okay. We are all being carried along on the vast and irresistible sea of chance. I am no more than one person in the sea of people who are here tonight. No more and no less. Okay, cool. Very cryptic. Oh, storyteller. Oh, look, he's so great. Storyteller. Don't stop writing our story. We don't know how to do things on our own. Yeah, maybe let him stop. He's like he's like the the writer for Boruto and Naruto. Just let him rest. I'm still mad that Boruto even exists, actually. I feel like it doesn't need to. This isn't good. It's getting dark already. Remember what the story said. Okay, I gotta ask you, Ellie. I know you said you need to finish uh, Naruto uh, Shippuden. Are you going to watch Boruto or are you gonna stop after that? Still can't believe his name's Boruto. No, <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> I was just, I was just wondering. At the appointed place of ending, as twilight fades to darkness, we still haven't found a Spella yet. Hey, look at that! You tried watching it once? Oh. The original is, it's just a lot of like random stuff and then it gets kind of serious. I, Shibuden is a bit more straightforward, except it does have fights that last like a very long time. Kind of like Dragon Ball Z, but with less grunting. Shiri Sakurai, where the fans won't leave him alone. Yeah. I don't know. I remember growing up. It was always, that was always like the divide. There were Naruto fans, there were Bleach fans, and there were One Piece fans. And they would like flay you alive if you said you didn't like any of those. I'm just like, guys, calm down, please. Ninjas. Well, I guess Dragon Ball Z is in there, too. Ah. I feel like almost everybody has watched that at some point in their lives. You like Bleach and Naruto, though? <laughs> Someone's at the top of the tower! What? At the top of the tower? Look, Nick! Someone's definitely up there! Yeah, I really like the intro to season one of Bleach. Like, the other intros are good, too, but I don't know. That was just very nostalgic for me. Oh. Oh. Hello. Look, everyone. The great witch Bazella has finally appeared. The time has arrived. This story will come to an end. That must be her. Can it really be? The great witch Bazella. Yeah. <gasps> Original Dragon Ball is very good. Dragon Ball Z is where I felt like Here it started now, being like, my meh. will surely come to an end. The great witch Bazella will be apprehended and true peace will come to this town. Oh no, don't do the thing. Wait, oh, you have a necklace. That's not a magic stick. Uh. Mr. Wright, there, follow me. And then Leighton wakes up with his heart missing. Oh god, hello? No! Espella. <laughs> oh boy. So you were the great witch Pesella after all. Who the hell is this man? Vigilant? Who are you? Have we seen this guy before? I feel like we haven't. There's the captain of the guard, and then there was Barnum, 
And now there's this dude. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> a truly terrifying witch who would even attack her own father. Get up. Get up and stand before us, great witch Bazella. Oh, are they all just vigilantes? Okay, but that guy has a very specific face. <gasps> she doesn't have her pupils. A spella. Can't be a spella. No, there's no way. A spella, are you all right? A spella? She's been drugged. Are you okay, a spella? She seems to be wide awake, but she's not responding. I don't get it. What happened here? Maya, you know all about spirit possession. Why don't you think about that? Maybe that's what happened. I bet Eve is the great witch. Ah, Luke. Hey, it's Eve. Eve, were you with the Spella the whole time? Can you tell me what happened here? What did she say, Luke? Nothing, she didn't tell me a thing. <gasps> The cat is the great witch. Will you people keep your distance? I can't have you getting close to the great witch Bazella. Until the commencement of the final trial, this girl is to be handed over to the Knights of the Inquisition. Take her away. Sir. Hey, don't you dare lay a finger on her or my butter finger. Surely you must have seen her just now. Tell me, did she or did she not just summon a great big fire dragon? But you still can't say for sure that Espella is a witch. That's right. Someone must have might have knocked her out and brought her here against her will. Hmm? That's ridiculous. We vigilantes were the first ones at this tower. And when we arrived, this girl was the only person present. Any one of us would swear to it on the honor on their honor as a knight. Hm. Things are not always as they might appear. You have yet to investigate the scene of the incident, have you not? There's no need. It's obvious beyond a shadow of a doubt what has transpired here. Oi, get a move on. Take the girl away before she regains consciousness. Fox News told me that she's a witch. You vigilance is suspect. No yeah, especially this guy. I, I've never seen him before in my life. Like, uh, but sir, there seems to be some kind of commotion downstairs. <laughs> what? You take your hands off that young girl. I'm family. Oh, is that Polly? Hey, hey, you, cease. It's, yay. Not Polly, sorry. It's Patty. I got confused. I was thinking of <laughs> the baker lady from Dark Cloud 2, who happens to also have a P name. You lot just keep your grubby meat hooks off my little Espella. Ah, uh, boss. Maya Phoenix. Who let this woman up here? Remove her immediately. Sir. Don't you lay a hand on me. Take that. Oh, she just threw flour at them. <coughs> what is this? <coughs> White powder, it's cocaine. That's my very finest wheat flour. Be thankful of that, you whippersnapper. Why, you, you impudent, bread brain baker! Go ahead and draw that sword at your own wrist, Sonny. I'll show you a thing or two. The rolling pin is mightier than the sword. Don't you have anything better to do than intimidate defenseless women? You. Dork in a tin can? What? What is it with you people? Yeah, rude. They don't even know what tin cans are. Calm down, Maya. I understand how you two feel, but may I ask that you both calm down a little? P Professor! We are the only ones who can discover the truth and save Espella. The professor's right. We have to keep our cool and carefully plan our next move. I know Phoenix, and to think the Phoenix I once knew could barely even plan his next loaf of bread. Well, he still can't, but right now he feels extra cool. Yeah, no, it's so good. It's just, I don't know why, like, just the world of Professor Layton and Phoenix Wright, just, it just meshes so well. 
If you'll excuse us, we must be on our way. Hm? Now why couldn't you just leave peacefully in the first place? Espella, Espella, I still believe in you, my dear girl. Take the girl away. That means now. I'm afraid, sir, that won't exactly be completely possible at the present time, sir. Uh, what now? A moment ago, the new recruit got carried away and blocked the entrance. Currently, no one is able to leave the tower, uh, sir. What? What did you say? That idiot of a new recruit did what? We've been ordered to take this girl to the interrogation room as soon as possible. The trial of the Great Witch is tonight. The appropriate arrangements are already underway in the square. We don't have time for this. Y'all ever heard of that new energy drink called cocaine? Yeah, you know, it's just... I hear it's pretty good. Th sorry, sir. I'll go and hang that new recruit up by his heels. <sighs> We're leaving now, and that's that. Bring that witch here to me. <sighs> Looks like they took a spell away with them. That made my blood boil. Having to just stand there and watch her get dragged away like that. We must bide our time, Luke. Don't worry. The time for action will come. The sad thing is, if if Leighton had a sword, he probably could have taken care of all of those vigilantes. But you know what? He's a true gentleman, and he waits to take action, I guess. Although, at present, this place is still in complete turmoil. Look, there are vigilantes and knights running all over the place. Hmm. That oversized rust bucket said the trial will be held tonight, didn't he? Indeed, that would seem to be the case, according to the storyteller's story, at least. <sighs> Honestly, though, who knows what'll happen this time? Oh, join Professor Layton and revisit some of the story's major mysteries. Oh, yeah. The Great Witch Bazella used a spell to call forth a fire dragon, which then took the storyteller's life. Could it be that Espella really is the Great Witch Bazella? Everyone in the square witnessed Espella summon the fire dragon, but we will not be so easily convinced of her guilt. That's right. We're friends till the very end. I simply cannot comprehend it. Storyteller, can this really be a suitable ending to the story you would have written? As a father, how can you possibly subject your own daughter to a fate such as this? Uh, Inquisitor Barnum, we have the Great Witch in custody. Hm, you took your time, did you not? How long is it now since the incident? Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. It took long, longer than expected on account of those incompetent vigilantes. Th they've only just handed her over to us, sir. Your excuses do not interest me. You do realize that according to the story, the trial of the Great Witch must convene this evening, do you not? Uh, yes, sir. Arrangements for the setting up of the special outside court have been commenced. I wanted to gain as much information as possible before the proceedings began. There's little time left, so get going! D yes sir! You heard the Inquisitor Witch, get moving! Stop! Do not treat the accused like that. Uh, yes sir, sorry sir, but sir, this girl's accused of... I know very well what she is accused of, but for the time being, that is precisely what she is. Accused, not guilty. Uh, Inquisitor Barnum? This girl is not a witch until she has been pronounced guilty. Treat her with respect. That is an order. Oh, look at Barnum. He's he's being better now. He's starting to fight back. Yes, sir. Spella Cantabella. I would like to hear the truth from you. Are you really the Great Witch Bazella? I... I'm... Hmm. Go and prepare for questioning. I shall be along shortly. Yeah, exactly. Fuck that guy. 
That won't be necessary. It's Darkla, I knew it! It's you! Yeah, exactly. He's starting to become less of the mindless, this witch needs to burn, and more of, this whole thing seems kinda sus. I Inquisitor Darklaw! What? What did you just say? I said that will not be necessary. You see, this evening, you will not be the one standing in court. What? What is the meaning of this? Who then? Who will stand in court? It, her. It'll be you. Of course! <laughs> For the trial of the Great Witch Bazella, surely it is only fitting that the High Inquisitor herself prosecute. You, you're not saying... I'm saying that I will be filling the role of Inquisitor in tonight's trial. Is that understood, Barnum? Ugh, my Inquisitor, just what are you planning? I'm not sure I quite follow. What are you implying? I followed after you, and my pursuit led me into a mysterious forest. Upon doing so, I witnessed a most unusual scene. Several mysterious robed figures surrounding a character whom they referred to as the Great Witch. The Great Witch hiding behind that masked exterior was none other than you, High Inquisitor Dark Law. My, my, Inquisitor. How very interesting. And where, may I ask, is your proof of this? Pr proof Well, did you not even remove the mask to confirm the identity of that person? Man, this would be a great time to have a camera. Doesn't, don't we have like phones? Wait, does Maya have a phone? Does, I, does, does Maya even know how a phone works? I know Phoenix has one. It probably doesn't have camera capabilities though. He still has a flip phone. Well, I was unable to confirm anything. Thanks to her use of witchcraft, I was robbed of consciousness. Is that so? In that case, Barnum, I'm afraid I will have to treat what you have just said as treason. What? Darklot, you crazy. When do we get to, like, make you fess up? If he's going to play Snake, yeah. And treason against the High Inquisitor means treason against the Storyteller. You there! Uh, I yes, my lady. Escort Zacharias Barnum to the dungeon for his crime of treason. Yeah, that doesn't make you seem totally sus. Yes, m my lady. On second thought, he may prove a handful for the likes of you men alone. I shall come along and assist your escort. Now, ready the horses. Uh, yes, sir. I mean, my lady. In 2026. Yeah, it's true. They were thinking ahead, because, you know, there's the new Samsung, like, Flip Z or whatever. That's what they were hinging on. They knew the flip phones would come back around. Wait right here, Barnum. We're taking you into immediate custody. Ah! I do not believe it. I will not believe it. I cannot believe that Espella Cantabella is the Great Witch Bazella. Last of all the times. Uh, Inquisitor Barnum, please know that it pains me to restrain the Great Defender of Labyrinthia. <laughs> there is no need to apologize. I'm aware you're only doing your duty. But, but, sir. Constantine, bite them. Constantine, what are you doing here, boy? Faithful companion, Constantine. I'm sorry to say, it appears that your master has reached the end of his career. Fight! A great task has befallen me, but now I shall be unable to complete it. It's such a pity. <laughs> Dog noises! Great Inquisitor Barnum, conveying words of remorse to his faithful dog. Wow! Fuck you, bitch! 
What? She's terrible. She's got to be like the ultimate evil. Otherwise, she's just a horrible person. And what, may I ask, was this great task of which you spoke? That's simple. To find the truth. The truth? Yeah. Until I met Sir Blue Knight and Sir Dark Hat, the question hadn't occurred to me. Is Espella Cantabella really the great witch Bezella? Why would the storyteller write a story in which his own daughter is executed? I, Zacharias Barnum, as a defender of this town, must know the truth behind this. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, Inquisitor Barnum. I'll tell you why you were unable to find the truth. Is it because you were hiding it? Is the reason. There is one thing which, despite your great ability, you lack. Something I lack. What you lack is resolve. What do you mean? In order to find out the truth, you went to great lengths in following me to the woods. I don't reproach you for that. You felt it was your duty as a knight. But that's also the problem, Inquisitor. Why could you not go to such lengths when it came to doubting the storyteller himself? Damn! Garrett? Oh yeah, he kind of does, doesn't he? Like an aged up version. Not right for a knight to question the integrity of his lord and master. Oh. And so you failed. Your knightly pride was your critical flaw. Huh? Critical flaw? That tower, the one in which the storyteller lives. Perhaps the truth you were seeking could have been found in the small room at the very top of that tower. What, what are you saying? Oh, are you giving him a hint? I don't, I, I still don't like this lady at all. In any case, at this stage of the game, it's too Wait, late to do anything. Wait, is Constantine gonna go tell Luke and we're gonna go search the tower? So I suggest you assign your unfinished task to that faithful dog of yours. Huh? Wow. I, I actually, I think she's just being a, a bitch because she's like, ha, there's no way you can do this. Tell it to your dumb dog. But little does she know, Luke can talk to animals. Very well then, Zacharias Barnum. It's time to go. You know, evil people always let loose a lot of shit when they think they've won. But you, you haven't won yet, lady. From this evening, you'll be spending your time in a damn dark place. It might be a good opportunity for you to cool that hot head of yours. Wow. Constantine, go talk to the child! Whew. We finally made it out of that tower. I second that feeling. For a moment there, I wondered if we'd make it out safely. There's probably not much time until Espella's trial begins. A mo uh, Ellie, it's gonna be okay. It's just a moth. They don't bite. They just flap. Where's your cat? Does your cat chase moths? Is he too old? It's okay. Just, just breathe. It'll be fine. Get the hunter in there. I say we look around for clues, so we at least have something to go on. There was a shiny thing in there! No, don't... Don't eat the moth. Don't do that. You don't know where that thing's been. Indeed, that sounds like a wise suggestion. He's like an old geezer. Well, I mean, maybe he can still scare it away. However, if it's all right with you, I'd like you to take charge of this particular investigation, Mr. Wright. McDarkla has Barnum on a platter. She can't shut up. That was paraphrased. Yeah. Sh sure, no problem. But what about you, Professor? Me? Why, there's a place of particular interest that I would like to investigate. Place you'd like to investigate? Where's that, Professor? Yeah! 
Yes, Constantine! You little hero, even though you bit Phoenix twice, are you gonna let him pet you now? Ah, Constantine! Whoa, whoa! Where the heck did he come from? Constantine looks rather worked up. Could something be the matter with him? I don't know, I'll ask him and see. Ah, good idea, Luke. Hmm, hmm. Eh? No, surely not. Yeah, I, I really like it a lot as well. What is it, my boy? You look like you've just seen a ghost. What did the little guy say? He, he said his master, Inquisitor Barnum has been relieved of his duties. You mean Inquisitor Barnum is no longer Inquisitor Barnum? But why? Apparently he's been branded a traitor for treason against the storyteller. Barnum a traitor? How very peculiar. This has all happened rather too hastily for my liking. Monsters Inc. will always have a spot in your heart. Yeah, true. A lot of the older ones, like, I really, really... Like, nothing against the newer ones, but... Man, there's just something... It's kind of like early Disney works compared to, like, new stuff. Where I'm like, I don't know. I really like the older stuff, but it just feels like... A lot of stuff more recently just feels very, like, manufactured, I guess. Where they're just like, well, this seems like a thing. Let's just pump it out and everybody will love it because it says Disney on it. Like Frozen. Sorry. Not a fan of Frozen at all. I'm still not. I don't care that the whole point of Olaf acting the way he does is because he's only like a day old. It's annoying as shit. And also it has like so many tropey things in it. No. No. Toy Story 3 was the last one you got the true Pixar feeling. Aw. It was very well done. That's true, then who's gonna take his place as prosecutor in the trial this evening? Well, according to Constantine, uh, that will be High Inquisitor Darklaw herself. High Inquisitor Darklaw? It would appear this incident has taken a further turn for the dramatic. We would be wise to attend to our respective investigations without further delay. Just a moment, Professor. It seems Constantine wants to tell us something else. I'd be very interested to hear anything you wish to add, Constantine. It appears he'd like to show us the way. Show us the way? Show us the way to where? He, uh, wants to show us the way to... The Storyteller's Tower. Storyteller's Tower? Why there? According to Constantine, there should be a vital clue up there. A vital clue? Oh, ho, ho. this is most fortuitous. There's Hazmate of Flesh. He screams because he does not know. Huh? P Professor, it just so happens that when I said there was a place I wished to investigate, that tower is precisely where I meant. I figured out this game five minutes in. No kidding. For the time being, everyone's attention is focused on the town square. So perhaps it might just be possible to enter that tower while it's not being quite so heavily guarded. At least I presume that may be the case. You may have just found a chink in their armor, Professor. Isn't that tower where Espella used to live when she was a kid? Hmm, what kind of clue do you think could be hiding up there? Maybe the clue lies in Espella's past. Constantine says he knows a shortcut. He can lead us straight to the storyteller's tower. Follow me, Sir Top Hat, he said. Mr. Wright, I suggest we split up into two groups. Okay, Professor, be careful up there. Don't worry, I shall be sure to return, armed with that vital clue. We'll be waiting for you, and in the meantime, we'll make sure we're armed and ready for the trial. Hm. Mr. Wright, within the final story was written the following. The town, finally freed from the shackles of the story and witchcraft, will bathe in the morning light of the new dawning day. The new town will be aglow with freedom from the past and fresh hope for the future. 
If this story is to have the finale that has been promised, Espella too will bathe in the morning light of that new dawning day. I'm with you on that, Professor. Let's work together to make it happen. Farewell for now, Mr. Wright. Come on, Luke. Disney had merged with them and had... Yeah, true. Disney... That's the thing that sucks, is they have a very strict way of doing things, and it really kind of... I feel like it dampens a lot of stuff, so... Yeah, at least he'll be armed. This is true. Right you are, Professor! Come on, Constantine! Show us the name! Uh, show us the way! No, 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 they're working together. I, there was only one point where there was kind of some contention between them, um, and that was really just Luke because he was very sad because the professor got turned into gold. But, but yeah, it's it's actually more them working together, and it's very good. Unless, what if they get into a sword fight? Okay, Constantine, show us the way. <laughs> All right, let's start by investigating the scene of the crime. We've only got a few hours until the trial starts. That doesn't give us much time. Let's go, Maya. Right. I'm sure the professor will bring us back something we can work with. Let's be sure to hold up our end of the bargain. You got it, Nick. What is it, Maya? It's Espella. Her eyes are all funny again, like last time. Like last time? Yeah, like they were back in London. I mean, it's like she's completely spaced out again. Hmm, now that you mention it, it was almost like she was being controlled by some kind of drug or magic back then. <laughs> Wait, do they? Are you tired of the stream text? Oh, that. Well, you should be able to scoot them around, I think. Maybe. No, uh, no way. This is just downright disgusting. I can't then let them get away with this. Yeah, they also own everything. Luke is, well, Luke's not a moron. He's just a child. Yeah, we're definitely on the same page there, Maya. Come on, let's get started. You said it. I'm as serious as a heart attack, Nick. Oh, well, ah. It's fine. Bell Tower area. I, you guys, I just realized something. I've been playing this game for 40 minutes. This is the first time I'm actually able to do anything. Dang it, I can't, I kind of wanted to go do some puzzles, but I can't get to the puzzles. Let's see, any hidden puzzle? Oh, there's no hint coins. Oh. Yeah, Luke is inexperienced. He's a little gentleman. He's a gentle boy. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Figures, there's still a ton of people around. Well, considering what happened, I guess it's only natural. There seem to be fewer knights, though. Nick, look out! Make way, make way! Die! Ugh. Ouch! You wimp, how could you be sent flying by a little bump like that? Oh, um, excuse me. So he knocks me over and I get yelled at? Yeah, that's not fair. I've got to say, Nick, I think you just set a new record for the most super dramatic fall ever. Oh, come on, Maya. What do you expect when someone in a metal suit bumps into someone in a cloth suit? What are you two doing here anyways? This area is supposed to be off limits to the likes of you. We, um, well, you see, we're the ones defending Isabella Cantabella. Oh, ho, ho! Then you must be the Sir Blue Knight that all the town was talking about. He sure is! Bluest knight in all the land. That's right. I'm the blue knight. You look a little green for a knight if you ask me. Wow, I wish I could just punch you in your dumb knight face. Um, thanks. Yeah, it goes on and on. I've been to Disney- I don't know! I think we've, I've been to Disneyland like once. Never to Disney World. But Disney World is a place you go to if you amass your life savings and then spend it all for two days. Which, I don't know, I, I don't like that at all. I don't like the thought of that. But I'm also one who's kind of like, eh? 
Like, I, I like Six Flags and stuff like that, because you can go there for like 60 bucks, and you're good. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to go somewhere that costs me like an arm and a leg. Oh, nice. Well, feel free to investigate the area. Over in the square, they're setting up the special outside court to be used in the upcoming trial. We vigilantes are spread, spread thin guarding there, so do your best to keep out our way. Oh, there he goes. You know, Nick, you're becoming quite the celebrity around here. I'm not sure celebrity is quite the right word. Hmm? What's up, Nick? Looks like the vigilante that ran into me just dropped something. Maybe that's the fans being very mad because every time they don't like a movie, they're like, shut it down. But they, I don't think they've liked like any of the movies that have come out recently. What is that? Looks like some kind of patrol record for the guards. Patrol record? Judging by what's written here, it looks like they've been taking turns guarding this bell tower 24 seven. You mean they've been guarding it around the clock? Why would they do that? Beats me, but the important thing here is the fact that it was under close guard at the time the incident took place. Oh, right, so I guess it would have been impossible to just stroll in through the front door, huh? Exactly. Anyway, it might be a good idea to hold on to this for now. So anyway, where were we? All right, off to see the crime scene. But have a look before another dork in a tin can shows up. Okay, we just got... <laughs> Looks like they left the crime scene completely untouched. Yeah, even that flower the boss threw at them is still all over the place. Yeah. Still can't believe she took on a bunch of fully armed vigilantes. With only a bag of white flour and a rolling pin, too! This goes to show how much Patty cares for Espella, huh? Of course she does! After all, Espella's like family. Uh, that's another reason we just have to rescue Espella, Nick! That's right. And what are we waiting for? Let's bust out that magnifying glass and get this search on the road. Uh, uh, yeah, let's look at that. Look at this, it's a pendant. The leather strap seems to have broken. Wait, I know this. This is, it's Espella's pendant. Ugh, I knew I'd seen it somewhere before. Anyway, we should pick it up before one of those dorks sees it. Come on, Nick, quickly, just pop it in your pocket. Okay, okay, I'm on it already. Yeah, well, there's a lot of there's a lot of media that people seem to like take time to warm up to, but yeah. Pendant added to the items. That is that. Hey, this looks like a floor plan of the tower. Hey, you're right, but I don't remember seeing it here before. I guess the vigilantes must have been using it for their investigation and left it behind when they hurried off. Yeah, it's fine. According to this floor plan, there's a bell on the floor above this one. Well, it is a bell tower. It'd be kind of strange if there was no bell. Yeah, but there's no sign of any ladder leading up to the next level. Or even a step ladder. Does that mean the bell can't be rung? Anyway, Nick, the floor plan could be useful. Hurry up and stash it in your pocket. Maya, I hate to think what you could have stashed away in that spirit medium's outfit. It's called being decisive, Nick. Come on, we're doing this for a spell, remember? Well, yeah, I hadn't exactly forgotten. Bell tower plan added to the items. Wait, you mean Tron Legacy wasn't just about hot ladies in skin-tight suits riding motorcycles? What's this, a control panel? I wonder what it's for. The control panel, shouldn't there be a lever or button or something? Wait a sec, what's that? Hey, that looks awful lot like the pendant. There seems to be some kind of recess here. Looks like something fits inside of it. 
Hey, nice catch, Maya. Recess. I've seen something shaped like that before. We literally just picked it up! Ah, this shape, it's a spell as pendant. You're right! It is a spell as pendant. I knew I'd seen that shape before. But why? Why would her pendant fit inside this recess? Don't ask me. Spirit channeling, supernatural possession, those are things I know, Nick. Well, seeing as how we don't know, there's only one way to find out. Let's slot it in there and see what happens. Okay, calm down. Guess there's no harm in trying. Hold it. Oh no! Hold it right there, sir, suspicious blue knight. What, who, M me? Yes, you, what exactly are you up to? Um, we're just, you know, carrying out our own investigation. Bah, you can't fool me. That thing you just picked up. That thing that, even as we speak, you are attempting to conceal in your pocket. What is it? Oh, you mean this little thing? It's a, well, I guess you'd call it a pendant. It's um absolutely nothing to do with that whole crazy incident just now. I swear Nick's attorney's badge on it. Enough! I saw it, all of it. Every single move from beginning to end, including just now. I hate this guy, get out of here. That right there is the one piece of evidence I was looking forward to coming back and picking up myself. No? I saw it too, me three, me four. Wow, fuck these guys. Yeah, gross. Now then, hand over that important piece of evidence. Now. Ugh, shoot. No! No, a spell is pendant! Wow, fuck this guy. I hate him and his stupid butt chin. Snatched away from us just like that. I must report this to the High Inquisitor immediately. Me too, me three. Get the fuck out of here, you dumb bitches. Oh, I hate them so much. There they go with its spell as pendant. I was totally planning on giving it back to her the next time I saw her. But more than that, I so wanted to try fitting the pendant into that recess in the panel. Welcome back, RC. What now? No way is that panel just there for decoration. I'd better add it to my items for future reference. Yeah, God. Well, a contraption. Let's look at that, I guess. To be honest, Otter, I, I saw that when it first came out. I really don't remember a whole lot about it. And I'm someone, like, it's kind of funny. You guys are talking about Marvel and all this. One of the reasons I think that Disney World, I don't give a shit about it, is that I'm not really a part of any specific fandom. Like, people like Disney because there are very specific facets of Disney or Disney World that, like, really cater to the things that they like super like but i'm i'm just not somebody who can really like get super into something because that involves a whole lot of energy um it's like i played you know i played elder scrolls i played all of the elder scrolls could i well i mean i also did play um elder scrolls online but a lot of people don't count that could i like give you any of like the history about the game really Fuck no, there's a lot, there's too much. It's a lot of effort. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, you stop Oblivion from happening and then you go on a mountain in the Nords, th but then you kill dragons because you're the dragonborn, but you don't kill Parthenox. I mean, you could, but he seems pretty chill. Those other guys though, fuck those guys. You ignore, I like Oblivion, even though like it's, it's really funny to play it now and be like, man, this game is, this game looks kind of silly in some parts, but yeah. Ugh. Like how we can go to TwitchCon without, yeah, exactly. Well, it's kind of like how I've been on Twitch for like four years, but I still can't, I'm not one of the people who's like, Hoggers or uh, Kappa, I, I can't do all that. I don't know, I'm just not, I'm not someone who can. Moth exterminated. Congratulations, Ellie. You are now safe. Hopefully no more moths show up. For their sake and yours. Hated the main quest? Eh. I, get, I got confused in the main quest a couple of times because I I'd get turned around or you get distracted. That's one of the I, that's one of the problems with like Skyrim and all that is I have a couple of friends who 
never really played them or couldn't get into them because they were too distracted by literally everything else going on. Um, but yeah. The graphics are so advanced, we can't tell. But no, it, it's one of those things. That's why, like, like I feel kind of bad. It, that's why I, sometimes I'm like, am I a boring person? Because I'm not really, like, hyper-passionate about anything in particular. Like, I like games. But if you ask me about stuff, like, you know, if you ask me about, like, Zelda series and stuff. Yeah, I know about it because I've played enough of the games. But I don't, like, go too deep into the lore and all of that kind of stuff. You know, I'm just me. I'm just trying to play like more games and watch more anime than one person can possibly do in one lifetime at this point. Yeah, no, no, I, I, yeah, I don't really delve too much into the lore of it, you know, or look into like the fandoms and stuff like that. So it, it's just, it, it's one of those things where I'm always kind of like trying to do something. It's just hard to like devote that much time to one specific thing when I'm like, oh, but there's this whole, like, spectrum of things I could be checking out. Which is probably one of the reasons why I haven't advanced very much in Spanish, because I, I'm doing very bad at actually allotting the time to practice and learn more things, but... It's fine. It's too much. Well, no, no, no. I mean, I'm the same way, Otter. Like, I don't have anything against VTubers, but I... There's only, like two to three I watch, and it's because they were people that I knew before they started VTubing. And because the big thing about VTubing is you just, you do not know who the fuck that person is. It's one of the reasons why I also can't get behind like huge partnered streamers because a lot of them just have their persona. And it's not like you can really interact with them anyway because how are you supposed to interact with someone whose chat is going like, 3,000 lines a second. Like, you're just there to watch them do whatever they're doing. But, uh, but yeah, it's just, I don't know. I'm just like, I don't, I, I don't know who you are, you know? Or, yeah. Sponsored their Patreon to get access to Discord and Snapchat. Yeah, but I mean, that, I, I'm a very, like, like, I prefer to actually know the person, you know? So that's why I just can't do it, because I'm like, I don't know. And also, like, seriously, like, I don't want to generalize, but my God, there's some horny, weird, thirsty ass people in most VTubers chats. And I'm like, this is just uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm one of those real people. And yeah, like even even one of my friends, like she's and, and she's like she kind of is like, okay, if you're really weird, you're just out of here because we don't do that here. But there's a lot of people who just let it happen because they're like, ah, numbers are good, but numbers are only so good if the people who are a part of that number aren't like just uh, the worst, <laughs> you know. And chill streamer, you can actually, yeah, exactly. That, that's what, that's the thing about Twitch, because I'm like, the thing is, Twitch is good, really good for interaction. Like, YouTube is really good for just, if you just want background noise or something to watch without interacting, which is why, like, I'm kind of like, I'd rather watch, like, a really huge person's, like, YouTube videos than go on their stream, because I'm like, I go on stream to interact. But I, it, obviously, if you can't interact, it's like, it just kind of defeats the whole purpose. That's nasty, also. That's super dirty. Why is that so dirty? I wonder what this is. It's a cloak. Looks like a robe to me. A robe? Say, this reminds me of the robes those weirdos in the Eldwitch Woods were wearing. Come on, Nick, try it on. Try it. No, it's dirty. You gotta be kidding. This thing's drenched from all the rain. Just to keep that, yeah, understandable, because it, otherwise it just starts to become, like, way too much. Like, it's bad enough just being, like, and I'm not speaking for me, it's bad enough for, like, female streamers, because there's a lot of bullshit that comes along with that. But being, like, a VTuber, it's like, they don't understand that even if it's a VTuber, boundaries still exist. But sometimes people just don't know what the fuck boundaries are, so I don't know. It's just, it's a very strange thing, like, and VTubing has gotten really big, but I don't think a lot of people understand, like, 
it, it also has brought in a lot of people that just do not understand how to interact with people and they don't learn how to interact. They just act really weird all the time. And you're like, at some point you've got to calm down, you know? I don't know. Boundaries, aren't those food? I mean, it depends, maybe. Food is good. The new internet can say, not hearing me when I told him. Yeah, and you're just like, just stop. Like, if you're in somebody's stream and they ask you to do something, just, just do it. Respect it. Don't keep pushing it because then you're just going to get banned. And then you're going to be like, um, I'd like to request an unban because it was unfair. And it's like, no, you were being really shitty and not listening. Why are you here? Yeah, no. It's just, oh, man. You, you like to use yours a lot? Yeah. I mean, that's a good idea, Beth. Like, like I, I, and I know I have a couple of friends who are kind of like, they feel bad if they have to ban someone. I'm like, no, you shouldn't feel bad if you have to ban someone because guess what? There are plenty of other places they can have their shitty energy that's not around you. Just find people that you enjoy being around or that don't make you feel uncomfortable because there are billions of people in the world. Which means that quite a few of them are probably going to be shitty, but let's not worry about them because there are other cool people out there. Besides, it's covered in that flower patty through all over the place. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting she threw a flower. Yeah, go, exactly. Go somewhere else. That's why I always think it's funny when people are like, oh my god, like I, like I can't believe all these, all these female streamers are stealing my views with their boobs. And I'm like, look, you don't want those kind of people in your stream anyway. And they're not looking for your, it, if people are there purely for someone's looks, then they're never gonna go to your stream anyway. Like, I'm sorry, like, it, that's just how it is. I'm not mad if somebody has like a billion views and they're doing a hot tub stream, whatever. Those people are looking for a person in a hot tub. They're not looking for my stream. Chat is normally pretty safe, but occasionally you get weird as they come. Yeah, like if somebody, especially people don't understand that there's familiarity is a part of things. If you are brand new, you come in and you make like a really shitty off color joke. We're going to be like, who are you? If you've been in the stream for a while and you say something and we're like, okay, well, yeah, we know this person. They probably don't really mean anything like super bad by it. But people don't understand that. You have to take time to like kind of integrate or understand or read the room. You can't just come in and be like, here's some really bad shit. And you're just like, I don't know what to take from this exactly. Like they were going to go to your stream. Exactly. The only boobs I have are on my wall, like posters. I, I should clarify. I'm not a psychopath. I don't just have boobs on my walls is whatever. But yeah, you can't see it anyway because of the green screen. There's a lot of streams that are toxic too. Yeah, no, 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 it's true. Well, and that's the thing that gets me is some of like the biggest streamers are absolute shit bags, but they're not shit baggy enough for Twitch to care or they're making so much money. You know, there's a lot of toxicity, but I mean, what can you really do? Sometimes people are, they just want to see that, I guess, or be a part of that. I don't understand. I'm just here to play games and chat with people and have a good time. Yeah, I guess you're right. It does look pretty beat up, huh? That flower's not coming off easily. It's all stuck to the wet robe. Wait, why don't we bake it? You know, I can't put my finger on it, but there's something weird about this robe. Weird? Remember when we first arrived here? I could swear there was nothing like this lying around, was there? Hmm, I'm not really sure. But I don't recall seeing it. The robe's pretty big. Looks like it would fit somebody or someone my size. I guess that means it can't be Aspella's, since she's small and aerodynamically built, like yours truly. I aero, aero, what? <laughs> Maya, what does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> aerodynamically built? Is, is that a man? Is that is that really the um the perfect female body? 
We don't want pear or hourglass or apple or whatever else. It needs, you just need to be aerodynamic. Anyway, it may provide a useful clue. Let's make a record of it for now. Hey, get that soggy thing away from me. Oh boy. Flower covered robe added to items. So, attention everyone. Yeah, Maya, calm down. Fame makes people special to their, yeah, it's true. The preparation, oh yeah, it's this asshole. God, I hate you. Preparation of this evening's special outside courtroom have now been completed. Summon the High Inquisitor. It is time we prepared for the trial. You took my evidence, you jerk. Each and every citizen shall no doubt wish to bear witness to this evening's trial. Overcrowding is to be anticipated. All officers to their stations. Let's help this final court session find a proud place within Labyrinthia's history. Boom, ba -dum, boom, boom. Nick! Uh, looks like we're out of time, Maya. Guess that's a end to this investigation. You think we'll be all right? We didn't really have time to finish. Oh, we did what we could with the time we had. Let's go. The Maya, it was gold. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate clips, especially I know I've had a lot of reactions to this game. This is a very good game, but sometimes Maya still says some shit. There's just things that happen. I have a feeling a spell is going to be moved to the defendant's waiting room soon. You know, Nick. Hmm? What? I've been thinking. It's no accident that you and I found ourselves in Labyrinthia. Maya. The reason we're here is for the trial tonight. Hmm. The fucking s ah! Yeah, who even says arrow? I don't know. Beth, got a question. Uh, your figure. Do you uh do you consider yourself aerodynamic? Or do you think there's some res wind resistance going on? There? I don't even know. How is that flattering? I don't understand. Which part of you needs to be aerodynamic? Like, uh, depends on direction the wind is going. I mean, I. This is true. I guess there are some things that might, that might catch, the the wind. I I, and I don't even know. <laughs> I'm like, I every time I say anything about it, I feel like I'm going deeper into like a bad hole, but. Another word for like skinny. I mean, true. I guess that because they're both like slender and they don't really have a lot of booby or butt, as far as I can tell. Don't think anybody has any butt in this game, especially not Layton. Layton is built like a Lego man, but he's a true gentleman. I know what you mean. I think so too. And I'm sure Professor Layton and Luke feel the same way. Yeah, this is true. I just know they'll bring back a clue or two to save a spell up. Yeah, you're right. That means we've got to give this trial everything we've got, Maya. Okay, Nick, let's do this thing. You bet. We'll do what we do best. We'll fight to the very end for a spell off. I'm definitely not aerodynamic, but I still ride a scooter. And I, I mean, it works out okay. I haven't like flown off of it or anything. You have to look like an arrowhead. New unrealistic bot. Oh, God. Oh. I don't like that at all. Sure, let's save the game. Can you believe I'm, I mean, I know some of this is idle time, but we've been playing this game for so long. Layton is attracted to people by solving puzzles and being a wholesome gentleman. I mean, this is true. Professor, uh, what is it, my boy? What do you think of, about what happened tonight? Hmm. On the surface, it certainly did appear that the storyteller's assailant could be none other than a Spella. But surely not! However, even if it did seem that way, that does not necessarily make it the truth. And if it transpires that a Spella is in fact innocent, then there must be some form of contradiction or proof to support as much. Yes, you're right. I'll bet Mr. Wright won't miss even the slightest shred of evidence. Mr. Wright and Meyer are investigating the scene of the crime as we speak. 
We, meanwhile, must search for something to prove Espella's innocence. In doing so, the truth should become evident as a matter of course. Hey, Dixies, it's going great. We're uncovering things. Um, there's burning and there's dumb vigilantes and we hate them. But now we're checking out the storyteller's tower to find the truth. I see. In the time that I've spent with Espella, I've never once doubted her character. There's just no way she could do anything as terrible as what happened in that square. I believe in her, Professor. <laughs> I know you do, Luke. We are Espella's friends, and as such, we must believe in her. Too right! First, let's make our way through the gate. Uh-oh, the door's still locked! And there are no knights here to open it! Except for Constantine. What's the matter, Constantine? Oh, yeah, I hope that you're doing well, Dixies. Actually, I hope everybody's doing good today. Um, it's been a pretty good day. Well, except, okay. So basically, I've been modding my, my scooter. You guys know this with like fuel tanks and stuff like that. Um, but I found out I'm gonna have to mess with it some more. Um, because I filled it up today, and it turns out it's really hard to figure this out because basically every tank has to be at the same level so that one tank doesn't overflow. Um, unfortunately, with the setup I have now, two of the tanks are below the main tank, so that makes it very hard. So I'm just probably going to have to get rid of one of them or just keep it as, like, a spare and just have two tanks, which that'll still double the amount of distance I can make on it. I'm just... As long as I can make over 100 miles, like... Per Philip, that's good enough for me, but I just. There's a lot of trial and error when it comes to messing with things. You saw you were drunk and had a phone? Yeah, my drunk food review! It's very good. If you guys. If you guys haven't seen that, actually, I just. Just make sure you check out my YouTube because it's, it should be the latest video on there. But that was from the other day when I was drinking and I was. I literally got on Uber Eats and I was like, oh, Jack in the Box. And I just like pressed some buttons. And when I got it, I was like, I really don't know what I bought. And it was a burger and tacos. They weren't, you know, thinking back about it, because I remember it, but it's a little hazy because there was a lot of drink. I probably wouldn't buy that thing sober. No offense, Jack in the Box. But that food is definitely, like, it's called the Munchie Meal. It's probably definitely geared for people who don't actually know what they're doing, but they're hungry. So yeah, it's it's actually almost 14 minutes long. I was, your perception of time is very different when you're drunk. I thought it was only like five minutes. I, I apparently spent 14 minutes eating and talking about that, but it's fine. Mm, that's great, thanks. He says there's another way in, which only the knights know about. And now, you know what? You know what I gotta do? I was tired, because I was tying a, about pizza with Kat and everyone the other day, because Kat lives in Italy, which means that they have like real pizza and very good looking pasta dishes and stuff. I need to make pizza. And if, yeah, Beth, you were there too. I got it. Oh man, because there's a fat head pizza crust I know how to make that uses um, almond flour, which I have. It also uses mozzarella, which I don't have. But I should experiment with more like pizza things. This pizza very good. It's funny how the tacos had more. Yeah, it's true. There was quite a bit more because the Taco Bell, Taco Bell has like, it's like they have like a tube and they squeeze a little bit of meat. And then they put like a crap ton of lettuce and stuff on top. And they're like, this is a taco. People who actually know what tacos are, are like, that's, that's not a real taco. Come on. Don't play with us. Where's the meat? Please do and then send recipe. I will. I, I, I got to try it again and make sure that works out right because it, it's called. Yeah, it's called like fathead pizza crust. It's it's amazing. I should probably I'm not going to have it tonight. I've already decided I'm having Chinese food tonight again. I love Chinese food. I'm sorry. It's very good, but I will. I need to cook more thingies with what I have and also make new things. But yeah, yeah, for drunk me, the food was great. I was also very hungry. For sober me, probably gets, I'd probably get something else. <laughs> but maybe I'll do more like drunk food reviews in the future. That was kind of fun, actually. 
Yeah, he, okay, only the knights know about that. That's a relief. Could you show us the way, Constantine? Because I mean, I have that playlist on YouTube called Chaos Eats where I've eaten like random things. Um, one of the videos, funnily enough, which I, I'll, I'll probably also link on this video, is I got very spicy um, chicken from the Korean, uh, like we have a, a place called Omar, which is a Korean shop. Um, and they sell a whole lot of different stuff. They also have a little restaurant there and they have another restaurant that sells like Korean fried chicken, which is absolutely fucking amazing. It's so good. And the fries are very good. They put like Parmesan and stuff on there. Ah, anyway, the thing is they don't speak English very well. And I'm one of those people where I don't like, like have to repeat myself a lot because it feels like I, I don't like to feel like I'm not like trying to communicate well with them. Like, I don't get mad at people if I don't understand them. It's just, that's just how it is sometimes. But, um, yeah, actually, I'm doing pretty good when it comes to the, to, to the going to the bathroom. Yeah, and then nothing bad came of that, so surprise, surprise. Um, but no, that chicken, um, she like, I, I said something and then she pointed to one and I was like, yes, because I didn't want to back and forth for a while. It turned out that I chose like one of the spiciest things on their menu. It was very good though, but it was a lot spicier than I was expecting. So, you know, sometimes even if uh, there's miscommunication, you could still find something really good and maybe a little spicy. Oh, it's you. It's Riddell. Good evening, Mr. Layton. It's been a while since we last met. Why haven't you done all these puzzles I have? Yes, indeed, Miss Mysteer. But I must say I'm surprised to be meeting you at a place like this. After seeing the Storyteller's Parade earlier, I've been unable to simply sit still in the library. But at the same time, wandering around aimlessly doesn't solve anything either. Then again, meeting you like this, Professor, has given some meaning to my wandering. Oh, are, are you hitting on me? Is she hitting on me? Yeah, this is, like I said, like, there's just something about, and that's probably why bar food is so, like, greasy and all that. There's just something about, like, kind of shitty, greasy food when you're, when you're reeling that just hits the spot. If you'd like to try your hand at any unsolved puzzles or puzzles that you didn't manage to encounter, I will happily show them to you now. How about trying a puzzle or two? Solving puzzles can help relieve stress, especially in difficult times such as these. Holy crap. I missed a bunch. This is magic window. Okay. Wait, how many are per page? One, two, three, four, six. Okay, I only missed 14. Barton's Burger? How did I miss Barton's Burger? It's puzzle time, everyone, yes. Whoa, no! Why does his burger look like a hat? What is this? <laughs> 30 Picarats. The investigation into the night's mysterious events has come to a screeching halt. Constable Barton's favorite meal, the Scotland Yard Burger, is in shambles and he will not report back until he has had his meal. Help Barton put his precious burger back together. Don't forget to get the ketchup on the burger just right. Move an ingredient on the touchscreen by touching it and sliding with the stylus. Barton, this is why Chelmy yells at you. Because you fucked up your burger and you're not reporting. Yeah, burger. Have you not had a burger with sausages and like egg? So good. Egg on burger is amazing. I, I don't know what makes it so much better okay so we gotta make sure we get the okay egg is th is that egg is it th is that onion shrimp there's a shrimp barton has so many things on his burger barton how how did you do this Wait, can it be turned?
I don't think it can be turned. Yeah, ah. It's very good. Okay, well, what if... Uh, that's a different kind of white. There's the sausage. Those are very small sausages, too. Okay, so the mayo... Okay. Um... Okay, well... Maybe the burger's in the middle. This is... Oh, God! It's attached to the green. Which... Um... What is that? Okay, I'm getting... Conf I'm confusing myself now. Let's see. Let's start here. So, let's say that line goes there. Haha! -ha! Okay, bum bum bum. That would be that. Haha! -ha! Okay, the ketchup. The ketchup is the key. Oh, whoa! I like how they look. I, I like how the lines like go away while the ketchup. Wow, thanks, game. You're making this way easier for me. Mmm. That doesn't seem quite right. How about this one? No, that. Oh, 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 oh. No. Wait, maybe that is right. Then the sausage would go there. Ah, uh, and then. Ah! <laughs> Man. Dang it, now I want a burger! Thanks, Barton! As you'd expect from a gentleman in training. Consider this delicious investigation closed. Okay, but he's using a knife and fork. Barton, this is why Chelmy yells at you. You're eating a burger with a knife and fork? I don't care if it looks like you. What even, it, you know, I, it looks good here. It looks good in paper. Especially with the yo, yeah, ah, oh, God. That was splendid. Oh, thanks. The royal victim? Okay. A blast of the past, guys. Is this also in London? No! Oh no! You try that? Yeah. More picarats. The king was attacked! The attack has left him on the floor and unconscious. People rushing to rush to the scene of the attack, preventing the suspect from making a clean escape. As a result, the culprit is still someone within the room. The question is, who? Question those present and find the culprit. Remember that the assailant will attempt to lie his or her way out of trouble. I read what they say. You think you have the correct answer? Select the character by touching him, his or her icon, followed by some. I hasten to his majesty's side as fast as possible. No one but the prince and myself were in the room. It was the queen? Wait, there's no queen, it's the princess. And some myself. Oh my, it could it could not have been the prince. I saw him in another room when we heard that terrible scream. I most certainly heard the voice of a woman coming in come from, from this very room, but the villager and the princess had not yet arrived. Okay. So if there that kind of adds up. Villager. The merchant and I arrived together. It is impossible for either of us to be the culprit. I noticed a woman come in shortly after I had arrived. She certainly seemed to have taken her time getting here. No one but the prince. It could not have been the prince who was in another room. Okay, so if they were both out of the room, maybe it was the knight. Because the merchant, if if she came in at the same time as the merchant, and the merchant still saw a woman come in afterwards, so then it would have been the knight, maybe the villagers and the prince and princess coming in? I feel like it might be the knight. I kind of wish I could have all these up at the same time. Yeah, so you say they arrived together, and you said a woman came in shortly after you arrived. So you guys came in, and then the princess came in. The princess and the prince were in another room. 
Or you heard the voice of a woman coming from this room. But the villager and the princess had not yet arrived. Wait, no! There's no, there was no woman then. Wait a second. You saw him in another room. You're saying the princess, unless it was the. Mm. But you saw, unless she's lying. It might have been the princess then. Uh, oops. But the, she also says the merchant and them arrived together. And they said the princess got there last. Oh my god, I'm actually... Oh wait, not high end. Be critical of each person's testimony. The culprit could be anyone. I, I know that. For example, if the prince was lying, that would make the... Pr or princess was lying, that would make the prince the culprit. However, the prince's testimony matches up with that of the princess. She was not yet present in the room, just as she testified. Wait, so maybe it... Maybe it was the villager. Because their stories add up, but... They were in different rooms, unless the prince showed up, and then the princess. And then the merchant, and then the villager. I'm gonna say villager. See what you think of this. Damn it! It's not the villager. Oh, ah! in the eye. To the type of voice. Wait, me the type. Okay, well. Ah, my pickerettes. I'm sorry, maybe I'm thinking too hard about this. The princess is telling the truth, therefore the prince is not the culprit. The villager and princess had not yet arrived. But she's like the only one! <laughs> I already said that she she's she's not lying. So they arrived at the same time. I'm in another room where we heard that terrible scream. I feel like it was the like if the print, but they said that nobody left the room, right? People rushed to the scene of the attack, preventing the suspect from making a clean escape. We can't hear the voices, unfortunately. At least seem to have taken. Might be a well. That's the thing. It's not the villager. The only one is unless the knight is a woman. But I, nobody can tell. Is this like a thinking outside the box thing? Because I don't like it. I'm very confused. I, I, uh. <sighs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. 
I think it's the knight. They never assign genders. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the knight. That's the only other person who could be a woman. It is the knight. Ah! Damn you, Layton. Why do you keep doing gender things? The female voice the prince heard was the, of the knight, who is a woman. The knight was the first to enter, followed by the prince, the merchant, the villager, and lastly, the princess. Okay. Look at all that hair. How did, how did you keep that inside that helmet? Damn. That was splendid. I'm going to overlook the fact that you totally messed up the first time. Eccentric Taylor. Okay. Let's keep tooling along through these puzzles, guys. Puzzles worth 40? Oh no. A customer wishes to have their fabric design filled with color. Use the magical stamp to fulfill the customer's request and color the design. Stamping a previously colored area will cause that colored area to disappear. Slide the stamp around with the stylus and use the touch screen to stamp. Oh no, it's another like lights out thing. Wait, oh, so do we want to fill, oh, we want to fill that design. Wait, can I? <laughs> I am, um. Okay, let's get the stick first. Ouch, look at me, I'm so smart. Uh. Okay, not, okay, now I'm this, I'm losing my momentum. Uh, but that part is at least good. So, we can't turn this around. Oh, that looks terrible, actually. Let's not do that. Oops. That's, okay, well that's. Oh, no, never mind. I was like, I got it. I did not got it. No, that's actually, that's, oh wait, wait, wait. Ah, no, shit, I gotta get. Not putting that won't be good. <laughs> Why do we only have one stamp? Why can't we turn the stamp? Sucks. Never mind, that's not gonna be good. Um... Uh, th what am I doing? Okay, let's... Let's... So can I... Okay, I can scoot the stamp with this. That works a little better. Okay, I'm very close. I just need... I wonder if I should have started... Because this was like the easy part. Oops. That's two. 
You haven't seen this? I've... Oh my gosh, I'm... It's, it's weird, because you have... You have to stamp, and every time you stamp... Unfortunately, um... I don't... Yeah, I can't rotate the stamp. You just... You have to stamp everything, um... With the stamp in its current position. Yeah, so I'm, and it's worth 40 picarats, which means that it's worth quite a bit more than most things. Um, gonna be trial and error. Yeah, I'm not good at plenty. Hey, here, I might need to restart. Okay, so we know that getting the bottom part to the middle, that's easy. Well, let's start with the scales then. Okay, so that... Oh, actually... Um... Wait, wait, I think I might be onto something. I... I did it! Ah, you work backwards! This is my answer. I'm a genius. Holy crap, okay. I did it! Thank you, I was like, uh, I don't know, I, wow. Man, who thought? That's quite a lovely design. The customer is sure to be pleased. It, yeah, it looks like, kinda looks like a goat. Minecraft goat. Thanks. Baffling bookcase. Oh boy. And is this? Oh no. Puzzle 18. Baffling bookcase. The books on the shelf are all out of order. When correctly arranged, the book's spines form an illustration. Rearrange the books so that they are correctly lined up. On the top screen, you will find a picture of the books as seen from below. Don't mind the burnt parts. It's still just as helpful. As seen from below, okay. So... Does long book really, I mean, I guess? Long book? Oh, it makes it, oh, it makes an illustration. Oh, this is easy, Never mind. I thought this was gonna be super hard. That one's definitely pointy. So pointy next. Then round, ooh. Oh. Oh, I, it's coming to get, no! Boobies! Sorry. Yeah, yeah I don't need that, okay. Um. Seem like that? Oh, so is that book out of place then? Oh no, I'm I messed up. That looks like an illustration to me. Does it look like an illustration to you guys? It's a lady with the sun and the moon. I think that's yeah, I believe that's right. Angular, angular, pointy. Submit! Let's see if I've proven myself. Yay! We proved ourselves! That was indeed an intriguing puzzle. It was. Correct. Now, doesn't it feel good to have things in order? RC would approve. She likes books being in order from, like, big to small. That, yeah, that was splendid. Rotating room. Oh, it's another one of these rotating room puzzles. Oh, boy. Wait, didn't we do the rotating room? Yeah. Okay, we have to we have to light the candles. No, wrong way. Frick, wrong oh, god. Oh god. 
Okay, uh, restart. Yes, please. <laughs> to get to that block, which means I need to go eh. mm. Oopsie, my way. Okay. Easy peasy. Now we just go the opposite way. Dun, 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 dun. Don't worry. Leave this one to me. Good job. Professor, I Woo. did it. Yeah, the house is once again clear. Thanks, Fidel. Look at us tooling along. Short round ride. <sighs> Whoa! What? Ride the starry road to the other side. The star-filled road is the only way across. Unfortunately, the path is not quite so simple. You can ride on top of the road as well as below it, but which will get you across safely? Slide the stylus across the touchscreen to move the camera and get a better view of the winding path. Up as well as below. Whoa. Whoa. Holy. That doesn't really help all that much. Okay, so if I if I follow it, that goes. Oh god! Oh, which side is up? Oh. Wait, can I also? Yeah, okay, I can also use the stick. If I'm on the top, follow, follow, follow. Uh, oh god! I know, and it's harder because I'm like, Jesus, how am I? Okay, so if we're on the top. Um, that goes so you're outside, and then... I think I need to be on the bottom. Let me, let me try going from, like, back. Well, I'm following it with my finger. That's going to be on the outside of that. And then... That will be there. And then it turns into the uppy. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure it, it's got to be... Down. Unless my brain is wrong. Submit! Go! Whoa! No! It was up! I killed the child! Oh my god. That's my brain. No! I thought it was down. Take my picarats. It's gonna be like, it's worth one picarat. No, it's... Uh, I'm sorry, Luke. Okay. You go and then you sit. It's so fast! And then. And then. Don't worry. Leave this one to me. Oh my gosh. Professor, That's. I did it. Wow. I was, I was so sure. Yeah, we surfed the stars to safety. What is happening? <laughs> Thanks. Uh, pretty posy. Puppy Postal Patrol. What is with these names? Okay, what is this? 
Puzzle 24. It's a fairy! A flower with very unique petals sits in a garden. However, it seems as if the petals are not correctly arranged. The flower pixie thinks they should be arranged so that each petal is next to a petal of either the same color or shape. Touch a petal once to pluck it, and again to place it. Move the petals so that they are arranged per the flower pixie's instructions. Okay. So they have to be of the same color, same shape. Shape, same shape. As I'd say, it can't be that easy, right? So... Oh, that's wrong. Okay, that's why. Yeah, okay, so this, this can only be blue or green. And I don't think anything is this color. Yeah, the purple one is gonna be key, this is true. Let me try something really quick. Did I just do it? Did I just solve this puzzle, guys? I did not solve this puzzle. What am I missing? Either same... I wonder if they can't be the same color... Wait, no, no, those can be the same. No, yeah, maybe I should. Well, purple, same color. Oh, I... that's why. Um, wait, where is the... Oh, wait! That's not right either. Dang it. Purple one can't have purple petals next to it. It has to be the same shape petals on both sides. Oh, on both sides! Yeah, this is true. Crap! You're right! No, 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 I think you're... I think... Well... Yeah, you're right. So it's gotta be... Okay. That's not... I grabbed the wrong one. It's okay. Is it okay? I... Oh, and there's not... There. There's only one pink as well, I just realized that. There's only one pink and one purple. So that one's orange. Oh, and that... Everything works out except for... this. I think I almost got it too. Well, oh no, that wouldn't work at all. I'm so close. Uh. Call for help if needed. Yeah, I'm just like. I've got a brain. Because there's three of these petals, and there's three of the pointy ones, and then there's two of the other two. Because there's only... Ten petals. Total. Okay. Only one pink, and one... Only three green. Or there's three green and three blue. Oh god, that's the key. Uh. 
another shape. So we have to start from these. That that's a given. Wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. Duh, d that, and that. I did it! Woo! Okay. I was just like, eh? Leave this uh -huh. one to me. Uh huh. Did it! As you'd expect from a gentleman in training. Yeah, good job, Luke. Beautiful. What a lovely arrangement of petals. The pixie seems pleased. Oh, and they have a pixie friend. Very good. Thanks. Puppy Postal Patrol. What is this? Let's see. Oh no! Oh no! What? Red and blue letters are scattered all over town, ready to be collected. Constantine's route stipulates that he turn left or right after certain letters, but it seems he's forgotten the route. Help Constantine remember his route in town around town so that he collects every single letter. Rearrange the order of the letters in the list to alter the route. Change the order of the letters on the touchscreen by touching the sl and sliding them. Yeah. Red and blue letters. Let's begin to set Constantine off down the street. He will either he will turn either left or right when he picks up a letter. Place the letters in the correct order and help Constantine collect them all. So he starts here. Then he'd go here. And protect him right. Oh, there's meat. Wait, why is there so much meat? Oh, God. Um. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's definitely more than eight letters. So actually, he goes all the way down here, and then he turns right. Blue letter, turn right. Oh no, he'd pick up that red letter. Right. Oh, they're all blue here, so if I did blue, then he'd turn right again. Red letter, turn left. Red letter, turn left again. You're in a lurk mode, best of luck with puzzles. Yeah, these are hard. Jeez, it's just like ramping up. Also, thank you for the lurk, Beth. You enjoy that. Okay, um. Okay, let's go. Bam, bam. Red, right. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Left. Oh, that's not going to work. I'm out of options. Do, 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 do. We're going to collect every single letter. So what if blue, he turns right. Red turns right. Red again turns left. Red again turns left. Blue turn left. Blue turn right. Mm-hmm. 
Turn right. Left. Okay, so I already got those. Left. Left. Oh, there's a red one here that I forgot about. Okay. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. That feels right. Begin! Think. 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 Look at him go. Yeah! Okay, I think this is it. Oh, jeez. Visualizing this is kind of a pain in the butt. You did it! Let's give this answer a try. Oh, it's Maya this time! A day's work for that must have happened when we were out doing our night um, investigation. Good job, Constantine. That was splendid. Yeah, work, work. How are you holding up, Ellie? You... Wagon dragon. Not dragon, but drag -ging. You know. Puzzle 29. Oh, what's happening? Maya and Luke are each in charge of delivering the cargo inside a set of carts, with the help of their furry friends, of course. Move the carts through the center and toward the opposite sides of town. Touch the character icons and slide the stylus to move the carts. Oh, so we have to get around each other. Is... D am I a genius? Am I a genius? Let's do it, Miss Moya. You're tired, but okay. Chasing in the moth jay. Oh, okay. Just yeah. I'd expect from the professor's apprentice. Reviews for stuff with. Oh, that's good. How have they mostly been positive? It seemed like it. It was rated pretty positively on the the sites that I looked up the specifications on. Gabin goats. What's happening? They've been positive? That's good! Nah, ba, nah, nah, ba, nah. 50 pick rats! What? Five goats were put out to pasture. Yeah, I mean, for that price, can it be ba Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, granted, the phone I got, I mean, granted, this is really old. This is the Pixel 2, you know, the Google Pixel, which I think when it first came out, it wasn't that expensive to begin with. Um, but I got it for like just at a hundred. The newest one is like five or six hundred, which still for like a brand new phone, I guess in the scheme of things, isn't terrible. Especially since it's like, you know, mainline, blah, blah, blah. Still way cheaper than any of the Samsung Galaxy stuff. But but yeah, I mean, I a lot of the prices of that in like Hawaii and stuff like that that you're looking at are a lot cheaper, but they do pretty much the same thing, you know. Welcome back. Um, we're about to go inside the storyteller's place, but Riddell showed up, so right now I'm rapid-firing puzzles that I missed throughout the game. Yeah, I have goats to put out to pasture. Each goat has its own unique color and pattern. Not only that, they each have a unique pattern to their bleeding. However, these conversation-loving goats all suddenly started talking at once, sending the conversation into complete chaos. Use the picture to work out what each goat is saying or uh, is saying what? Also pay attention to each goat's color and pattern. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, it seems like a really good thing. Just make sure to check to see if they're like, I, I don't expect you to have issues with it, but always make sure to check like return policy and all that in case like anything does happen. Nah, but nah, nah, but nah, nah. 
Na ba ba na na ba ba na 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 ba na a ba ba na ba ba na na a ba na na. Trying to sound like I'm trying to sound a banana an awful lot, but that's just straight up banana. Right go. They all said banana. We solved it. Hey, how's it going, Meal Mage? How you doing? Is there, I think there's like a pattern to this. Uh, nah. -uh. Let's see. Oh, whoa! You you're only saying the one thing. Uh, you said ba ba na 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 ba. Did somebody say na na ball? It was like the great guy. No? Nah. Wait, because if they said certain things, so that would, if this the white, if the white set goat said, um, banana, nobody else could say banana. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, okay. So if you said banana, because you're talking here, banana, banana, banana's not in there. I get it! I didn't notice that the speech bubbles were working quite the right way. Yeah, banana. Okay, so. This is, if we've established that white says banana, what does brown say? Actually, wait, who's in? So three, so banana? Uh, nah -uh. Nah -uh. Nah -uh, somebody else. The gray one's probably saying nah. Because the gray one's in all this. Join the stream the first time I heard you trying to send out banana. Yeah, it is a bit. Nah, 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 ba. Wait. Nah? Nah? Ba. Okay, it just gets split. Nah, nah, ba. And that's the only one where nah, nah, ba. Then ba, ba, nah? Nah, ah? Na na naba, submit. We're go experts. Maya the magnificent strikes again. Yay, Bubba! Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Well done. Amazing listening skills. The goats can now understand each other and continue on with their conversations. Look at that goat. Yeah. Trying to make your island look a little better, and you just sends under the DIY recipe for nice. It's okay. That takes a while. Animal pens. Oh, oh no. Hello. Thirty out of thirty. Here's a popular children's puzzle that utilizes animal toys. See if you can solve it. There are seven animal blocks. Each of them varies in size and shape. Also, each piece can be rotated 90 degrees. The goal is to get all of the animal blocks put away into the rooms without having them overlap. While it seems simple, it can be quite difficult. You can also touch the edge of the animals to rotate 90 degrees by sliding the stylus. Can you fit all of the animals in the rooms? What do you mean? Of course I'm gonna solve it. I'm very good at solving. Wait, what the what the fuck? Is this a goat? I think that's a goat. It's a goat in a hat. 90 degrees. This is 180. I don't think that's quite right. You're oh wait. Oh, oh. Oh. Um wait, where's the wolf? I thought the wolf was a part of this. This could fit in a lot of things. Let's see, what other shapes? What the? What is this? Oh, it's mice. Oh, they fit exactly in there. What are you? You're a... Angry rabbit? That's a pig. Oh, only... Oh, okay, so you can't... Oh. I mean, that would fit there, but that looks kind of... 
kind of dumb. Whoa, and the cow is huge. Uh, is that? Oh, actually, that looks like, that looks like a good fit. Ah, uh, ah, uh, rabbit. Um, rabbit. Turkey. Burr. Turkey. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, wow, that was it. Okay, I was like, uh Hey, what's up? What's going on, Garrix? How you doing? I did not fat shame the cow. I just noticed that the cow takes up an awful lot of space in their house. Oh, uh, the poor wolf. Oh, wait, we were trying to save them from the wolf. I get it, like the three little pigs. Correct. The trick is that not all of the rooms will be used. Some rooms also require two animals. Even the simplest puzzle can pose a big challenge. As big as that cow? <laughs> that was splendid. Okay, stomp on it. Oh, it's another stompy! Oh no! No! <laughs> the chocolate puzzle! Oh. Okay. Like the chocolate. Stomp on it. The house's floorboards are all in complete disarray, much to the displeasure of the owner. He has decided to stomp out the problem himself. Literally. Each time he stomps a tile, the stomped tile and surrounding tiles will flip over. The tile sectioned off by dividers will not be flipped over by a nearby stomp. Stomp and arrange all of the tiles. You're off to bed early day tomorrow. All right, Ellie. You have a good night. Rest well. Um, if you see me online when you wake up, don't worry about it. <laughs> but thank you. I hope that you have a, a, a good rest. Chocolate is good, but this puzzle is not. Yeah, I don't. Yo, we just came back from a friend's kid's birthday. Nice. I hope it went well. You know, I felt kind of bad because one of my friends had a uh, birthday party the other day. They invited me to. I thought it was today. It was not today. It was yesterday. I didn't realize that until it was already like midnight. And I was like, oh, whoops. OK, so we want we don't want to change the top tile. So let's stomp this way. And then. Um. Oh, wait, if I stomp down. Oh. Oh, wait, is this. Is this actually really easy? Am I just. Was I thinking too hard? Wow. Wow. It's a turkey. The answer here is obvious. Puzzle solved. Yeah, Take don't. That. It's okay. Ellie doesn't yell at me. She's just kind of like. Shouldn't you be asleep? And I'm like, maybe. It's okay. Hopefully all goes well. I really hope they have the phone in stock so you can just walk home with it and be good and then have fancy new phone. I mean, well, it, you can always let me know. You can be like, hey, I'm messaging you for my new phone and I'll be like, oh, shit. Oh, no. What? Oh, she's crying. Train trouble. This little girl's favorite block train set ended up crashing and breaking apart into pieces. Luckily, the pieces for each individual carriage managed to stay separate. Carefully examine the pieces on the upper screen and choose the correct, correctly assembled carriages for letters A through E. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Which is which? Okay, um... Man. Oh, one of them has two big dowels. So D is... Well, do any of these have two big dowels? 
That one has two little dowels. So B is B. He doesn't have that. Choose the correctly assembled carriage. So wouldn't that mean that D is wrong? Oh no, D is supposed to be E. Ah, oh, I see, I scoot them. Wow, gross, Zunder. Keep that. Put that thing back or so help me. Bonk. Wait. Mm, this one only has one. Oh, that has two. Bonk. That's big boy. That one has two. That has two. That only has one. Bump it a bump. Submit. Motherfucking correct. I'm so good at this. Check it out, Nick. <laughs> Check it out, Nick. Yay! Dry your tears, little girl. Man. Yeah. Oh God. We're only one more magical window. Oh, what is? I am so smart. I am, oh god, what the fuck? Two princesses enjoy a fun-filled night of dancing. Their forms illuminated by the moon shining through the window. However, this window contains mysterious magic by which images reflected in the glass are distorted and flipped. Use the stylus to touch the pieces of glass to rotate them. Rotate the pieces to restore the princess's reflections. Uh... Oh, I'm just rotating it. That's easy. Her hair does the thing. Um, the moon is awful today. Um... Actually, I think that star does go there. Yeah. What's wrong with the moon? Oh, there we go. That, that looks a lot better. Sounds like really shitty glass to me. Maybe. Well, you know, these are, these princesses are on a budget. Oops. Oh, this is looking pretty good. I believe that's it. Star is there. That star is there. Moon is moony. Looking good. Submit. Don't worry. Leave this one to me. Yes. Professor, I did it. I did it. The magical window looks as stunning as the princess's lovely ball gowns. Yeah, that's that's a sure way to to really mess things up, you know. That was splendid. There are no puzzles for me to solve. Oh no. Anytime you wish to try your hand at some puzzles, be sure to come and see me. Don't talk to anyone else. Okay, and I think after that massive puzzle solving, it's good to stop the recording for right now and, and take a quick little stack break until we get into the next portion. <laughs>